What's going on guys? It's Jay from E Electric Productions and I messed up big time. I bought a survival game on Steam and not any survival game. I bought Woodlands. Roll intro. <laughs> Okay, so I did what I typically do. I looked through Steam. I hadn't done a survival game in a while, and I was kind of looking for one. So usually what I'll do is I'll go to Steam, and I kind of go to new release section, and then I get one that costs a little bit more. I purchase a game that costs a little bit more than the average. Usually those 2 to $3 games are throwaway games a lot of times. Not always, not always. Um, but I was looking at survival games, and there was a game called Woodlands, and it was $10, and I thought, you know what, sure, I'm gonna do it. I was in a bit of a hurry, so I bought the game, and I loaded it up. Well, you guys just saw, <laughs> it just, it pops up a little ax, and it says Unity, and then it loads you straight into here. So, this game is not in early access. This is it, it's the full release, and uh, let's let's take a look. Let's look around, shall we? So let's switch over since we're going to be going out into the wilds here. Let's get out our trusty revolver, our, our six shooter. Let's get out our trusty six shot revolver. Let's, uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, I can't go any further. There's an invisible wall here and then clearly a drop off. Um, looks like. Looks like the grass is kind of just sticking off the terrain there. But no, no big deal. You know, that's, that's fine. There's a whole huge island for us to explore. So let's see what else the uh, the island has to offer. You have almost zero stamina because, you know, just like in real life where nobody can run or even lightly jog for more than five to six seconds without being totally winded and requiring, you know, a good rest before trying to jog again. I'm pretty tired. Think I'll go home now. Just like real life, um, these survival games are so good about that. They always they always capture just our absolute inability to move at a quick pace for more than a few seconds without being absolutely winded. It must just be Americans, I guess. Um, so you get kind of a, a look there at the yeah, that that's a gritty looking revolver. It looks really nice. I'm sure that asset. Uh, probably cost a dollar. I'm just kidding, I'm sure it was free. So, uh, we've already reached, you know, we must have started in the upper corner of the map. That That's what it is, yeah. I'm sure that's all it is. Keep getting winded here. Whew. And that invisible wall, I'm running right along it. I can't get any closer. And you can see, like looking up there, that it's not like there's actually, you know, a side of the island that goes down to the water. No, this is just like a floating plane that's up there. So this is clearly like a magic island up in the sky. And oh man, it looks like we might have reached the uh, is that the edge of the island again? And oh, I'm so winded. Character just can't move. I haven't seen anything on this island yet either. I mean, we we're not in the middle of the island, so I'm sure all the interesting stuff. Yeah, that's the edge. So the island is incredibly small. It's free real estate. Very very small. So what is going on with the textures there? Is that spider web? Is that like silk? I, I I don't know. Is it supposed to be like rock texturing? I'm confused, but that's okay. I confuse easily, so I'm sure that it's not that this is a poor game. It's me. So let's just hope the island really stretches this direction for a long time. I don't know what I was thinking. I tried to run for eight seconds in a row there. My bad. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing anything either. I mean, there's clearly birds because they haven't shut up for the entire time I've been playing this so far. That's it. You get like a one second reprieve before they just start chirping again incessantly. Nope. There's the edge of the island. So, um, the island's tiny. Like super tiny. Oh, oh, I see signs of life. Oh, it's wild boar. It's this game's spirit animal, the boar. As in, it's boring. Okay, I've used three shots. Three more shots here. Oh man, it's like one hit kill. Okay, I got one more bullet before I've got to reload. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, it 
tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, there is no reload. Oh, I physically cannot reload. Got it. Now, there's a, there's a hidden chest right here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, inside the chest is a chest. Okay, that's, you know, like, like Russian nesting dolls. And then there's an anvil. And then there's a fire. Yeah, there's a fire in the chest. But it's okay, I was already carrying a fire in my inventory as well. Fair enough. Okay, so we got some great treasure there. Oh, I, I thought I killed the boars. Can I get meat from you guys? I can. I can get bones and meat and even hide. I'm going to go ahead and drop some of these sticks because I, I don't really feel like I need them. Mostly because I'm not going to be playing this for probably any more than 10 more minutes. That's it, guys. I mean, that's the edge of the island over there. And there's another edge of it over there. <laughs> I feel... Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the game. You could build a house, too. I don't know why. Um, you just can. It doesn't really serve a purpose. Um, there are chickens on the island, and then there's these guys. Now, if you have a heart condition, just leave the video now. I, you're not going to be able to handle this, because these guys are brutal. I mean, they are ruthless. Just... I'm sorry. Let's see what's in this chest. We've got shotgun shells for the uh, for the shotgun we don't have. I'm sure you can craft it, but I don't know who would stick around in this game. You can get some sticks. And for those of us who want new feet, they're supposed to be boots, but they just look like feet. So we got shotgun shells. Um, we have an automatic weapon too, but I'm going to be honest with you. There's not much of a point. The, the the pistol does just fine. So, um, just to show due diligence here, I'll go ahead and I'll build something for you guys. No! The, oh, there's another, there's another chest here, guys. What do we get? Oh, man. A stone tomahawk. Oh, we've already got one. Water. We'll take more. And cook steaks, because they're not going to be spoiled just sitting in a crate for a long time. I'm sure they're good still. It's just meat. So you can, uh, yeah, you can go in and you can grab out this stone pick thing, and you can you can get rock in the game. And it takes forever. It takes so long, and actually, we're not getting any rock right now. I don't know why, but usually it says, well, the game may have broke. It's supposed to say in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen that you're. You know what it is, I bet? I bet you it's that my inventory is totally full. So let's drop that. That's what it is. My inventory was full. So now we're actually gathering rock. Stone. Stone, I'm sorry. And it drops all these smaller stones. That you can actually... There you go. You can hit these. But they don't give you any more stone. And they will break eventually, too. So I don't know what purpose that serves. In a game that is so shy on details, it just may have it must have come with the asset that they. Uh oh, uh oh, what's going on? Oh, I think my character's dying of boredom. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Either that, or he's thirsty. Oh no. You like that super realistic drinking noise? They really nailed the essence of a human being consuming water. It's really impressive. And that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. I mean, after the water, like, eating the meat is just, like, so just disappointing. It sounds like you're eating a whole mouthful of uh, bran flakes, not like a juicy steak. The water is so, just feels like I'm really drinking water. Yeah, you can use the axe for, you guessed it, 
chopping down trees. It's not going to give me any wood right now because my inventory is full, but needless to say, you chop at it for a while and the tree just disappears. It doesn't fall over, it doesn't fall down, it doesn't break into logs or anything else. It just... It does that. Yep. So, what I think would be pretty sad is if you went through and you just cleared the entire island of trees and rock completely so it's just a barren small square so uh building you pull up this blueprint and this is one of the most unintuitive building systems i've ever seen it took me quite a while to figure it out just because there's there's no congruency to it there's so many things that would just make sense but anyway you pull it up with the right mouse button and then you scroll around and and there's other two and I already messed it up. And then once you do that, you can scroll through that with your mouse wheel as well. And then you can click it again. I mean, we don't need that right now, so it didn't actually appear. Uh, so we're gonna do the foundation first. And then you right mouse click out. And then you can just, yeah, you can, you can just build, guys. I mean, Minecraft, who needs Minecraft when you've got I've already forgotten the name of this game, and I really don't even care to tab out and try to figure it out. No, and I don't care. There you go. So then we can go and we can go to our, our walls, and we've got different walls here too. So let's try and let's put a door there and then open it again. And, okay. Don't you dare mind these spaces in between the, uh, the walls. Don't let that bother you. Because you're playing a game that has absolutely no effort or energy that was put into it whatsoever, and you paid $10 for it. So at this point, if this worries you, your priorities are way out of whack. Um, yeah, and then uh, there's there's doors because reasons and because I mean there's nothing that's going to come into your house. You know, if you've got a roof on your house, then then you should be more than happy. Uh, there we go. I could try to angle these if I wanted to, but I really can't be bothered um there we go and look at that you have yourself one fine hovel right there and there's windows too guys i mean these guys thought of like everything look at that by the way, I've collected almost no resources. They start you off with more than enough resources to build pretty much whatever you want. It's pretty funny in a, a crafting game to just start you off with all the resources you need. Isn't that kind of the point of a crafting game, is to gather resources so that you can craft what you want? So you're mining stuff to craft with and crafting stuff to mine with? Uh-huh. Did your dad write this game? Mean. Uh-oh. Man, I overshot that a little bit out there. I really messed up. Um, that's it. I mean... There's stairs, because we can put stairs outside if we wanted to. Uh, I mean, we can go into other here, if we so desire. And we can get super fancy. Look at this. I can put lights wherever I want. And you know what we're going to do? What's hurting me now? Oh, I'm thirsty again. Yeah. Because you know in real life, when you don't drink for uh, you know a couple hours, you start dying immediately. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like real life. There we go. So let's let's go into our inventory here and um, just drown our character in some more water. And you can't, like, just click and, like, fill your meter up. He's got to do this. Of course he does. Of course he does. Because realism. So then we can hit escape and free our mouse <laughs> and I'm blind. And look at that natural interior lighting, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Can you get over that? I mean That's it. That's the whole game. It's game over, man. It's game over, man. Game over, man. It's game over. 
Um, our door's not working. Like, at all. I have built myself my own prison. Oh. Okay, that's weird. For a second there, it was... registering it, but then... It's like super specific where you have to aim. Yeah, I'm pretty much trapped in the house at this point. So um, that's probably for the better because, I mean, the island's pretty safe if you just stay away from the few zombies. You can't really kill yourself too easily unless you just don't drink water because you can't throw yourself off the edge of the island. Um, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's because it's nighttime. They don't want me to go outside. You can turn your lights on and off. That's pretty cool. That's how you open a door, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and that's it. The zombies are no more intense at night than they are during the day. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Apparently they don't have very good night vision. And I think that's pretty much going to do it. Um, I actually need to run really quick here because I got something I need to do. Um, I need to refund this game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find a better survival game to review here. And uh, look at that. It's just the... Oh, I'm winded. Of course I'm winded. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate you stopping by. If you would like to see me play more of this game, please don't bother asking because I'm not going to. If there's another game you'd like me to take a look at, just let me know in the comments section below. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.